build and the crescendo we'll get here is is Jake and his mom are escorted into town by uh, Cumberland's finest. Thank you, Cumberland Police Department, for all the support that you do give us and all the events downtown with our code enforcement officers to make it a good place for everybody. So, uh, and we have about a 15-minute presentation, and we're going to celebrate and just make someone who is a new town, new person to town, but made a major impact feel very, very special and welcome. So. Is there a spotting? Anybody see anything coming down the street? Do we, all right? Are we gonna get ready here? I tell you. Jake, 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 Jake. I think he's here, yeah, here he comes. Jake, 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 Jake. Jake, 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 Jake. Jake. He, he sees you folks, he's waving, there's a, let's give Jake a real round of applause, Jake, 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 Jake. all right, all right, let's get Jake up here, and Jake's mom will be right behind him, so come on on up, Mr. Schwab, if you'll get Jake and escort him up to the platform here, and Joe, if you'll escort Pam up to the platform, hey, Jake, Let's do it, Jake, 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 Jake. All right, buddy. Way to go. Come on up. All right. Way to go, buddy. Come on, come on. All right, now let's get mom up here. Pam, come on. Come on up, Pam. Let's get, yeah, you see some people out there you know. All right, Mom, come on up here. Let's give both Jake and his mom, Pam Reynolds, a wonderful round of applause. Pam, step right up here. And you know, folks, Cumberland is thinking young all the time. We have a wonderful young mayor and city council and wonderful things going on and great looks for our future. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you the mayor of Cumberland who has a proclamation for Jake. Mayor Brian Grimm, please. It is a pleasure to be here to welcome Jake home, and I'll tell you that I can speak uh, truly to this young man's character. I had the very, very brief opportunity while he was in the 11th grade to serve as his homeroom teacher, and I still look back fondly at the, the character that he demonstrated even back then. So again, welcome home to Cumberland. We certainly appreciate having you back now. And on behalf of the City of Cumberland, uh, I'm also joined this evening by Councilman David Caparelli. We offer you this proclamation, Jake. Whereas Jake Reynolds is an outstanding citizen of the City of Cumberland and has declared his love for his community, whereas Jake Reynolds represents the City of Cumberland, the State of Maryland, and the United States of America on the international stage, and did in so doing shine a bright light on Cumberland, Maryland. And whereas while performing in the 2013 Special Olympics World Games in South Korea, Jake Reynolds did achieve the highest honor in the giant slalom, and whereas the City of Cumberland recognizes the significant achievements of our hometown Special Olympics gold medal winner, I do declare today in the city of Cumberland to be Jake Reynolds Day in Cumberland. I am told that you are truly one of a kind because you are the only Olympic gold medal winner living in Cumberland, so congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Jake, we're going to get you to say a few words, if you like, in a minute here, but we have a few things first. You know, behind behind every successful program and event, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that don't look for the limelight, but certainly deserve a lot of credit, and there's so many folks in this community like that, but I'd like to introduce one of you, a wonderful friend and colleague, a supporter of downtown, and a great friend to Special Olympics scouting and so much, Doug Schwab. Doug, come on up and say a few words about this young man that's on the stage. Thank you very much, Ed. Um, just a couple things. Um, we do have another Olympic gold medalist, not a gold medalist, but a bronze medalist. Katie Acton went to the uh, 2001 Olympics in Alaska. She's right down here, where is she? So we are very proud to have two Special Olympics World Games uh, people in Cumberland. Um, another person I want to point out to you all is Dottie Turner. Where's Dottie? Wave, hey, Dottie. There she is, right there. Dottie is the Allegheny County Special Olympics Area Director, and she's been doing that, been involved with Special Olympics for about 42 years. So, there she is, right there. So,
So Jake and Pam came to Cumberland about 2007, and um, we got Jake involved in scouts, and uh, he got involved in the Special Olympics, and he wanted to learn how to ski, so we took him out on the slopes, and the rest is history. So uh, I'd like to introduce now um, Susan Crump, who's the head coach of the uh, Allegheny County Olympic ski team. Come on up here, Susan. Thanks for coming out and supporting Allegheny County Special Olympics and Jake, our gold medalist. I've skied with Jake for the past four years, downhill skiing, and I am really proud of this guy right here for the accomplishment that he did. Um, going to the World Games, he actually did, he got the Alpine Intermediate Super Giant Slalom, brought the gold medal home here to our town. I'm very proud of him. I also want to recognize I have my two assistant coaches. There's Pam Pressman and also John Skidmore. And I also have my other volunteer coaches. We got Doug Schwab that helps me, Robin Douglas, and Daniel Crump. So with all of them, that's who helps us. Our Polar Express team comprises of Jake Reynolds, Marcy Horner, and Stephanie Piles. So good job, Jake. Thanks. Um, hats off to Jake Reynolds for winning the gold at the Winter Olympic Games. When I was introduced to Jake, he came across as a winner in my eyes. His amazing attitude and determination has helped him achieve his goals and become the person he is today. Over the years, while mentoring Jake, I have watched him face numerous obstacles, achieving them, and always coming out smiling as a winner. Jake has demonstrated his abilities on the ski slopes, Skiing with no fear, he faces all challenges head on. Watching him glide down the slopes, snow blowing back in his face, proves that he was born to ski. Jake doesn't only light up the slopes, everyone he touches with his fantastic personality and good heart knows that they have a friend forever. I have not only trained Jake, but I have also learned from him. Whatever your goals are in life, you can accomplish them. All it takes is a little hard work and positive thinking and anything is in your reach. Jake is a role model for all of us. Uh, through his great accomplishments, he has made a place for himself in the sport of skiing, and there will be other challenges along the way. I believe he will rise to the top in everything he does. Everyone admires his will and his determination. Congratulations, Jake. You are definitely an inspiration to all. Thank you. Hockey to Turban Sweet. Um, very incredibly proud of our ski team, the Polar Express, and very proud of Jake and his accomplishments. Congratulations. Thank you, Skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. What a ski team, I tell you. You'll be, they'll be, you'll be going on the road. They'll get all you uh, coaching everybody here. You did a great job with Jake. Well, Jake, you know, you've, uh, you've won the hearts of this community, you and your mom and so forth, and not only the entire community, the state of Maryland, Allegheny County, but you know what? You're our neighbors and we love you too. We have some of the Fayette Street neighbors here too, don't we? Let's see, see wave Jake's neighbors and friends. There, there we are, right out to close neighborhood over there on Fayette Street. And uh, we, where the Bruce house is, and Pam does a great job, and, and Jake, keeps us, Jake keeps us remembering when our birthdays are and keeps us on tax. So we appreciate that, Jake, exactly, and so forth. Hey, I, I want to do this real quick before I put you on. Uh, is Sean McCall here? I see his wife. Is Sean here? Sean, come on up and talk about the Holy Plunge for a minute, because that's going to be a dealing with Special Olympics. You mind if we slip that in there? Do you plunge, too? I plunge. Do you plunge? Yes, I do plunge. Okay, good. Are you going to plunge this year? Yes. Oh my goodness. And what and money gets raised goes to where? Um, Special Olympics. Yeah, maybe Sean McCaw can talk a little bit about the Holy Plunge and because uh, we have the pub crawl celebration. We're not going to do that right now, but Sean, you've done a great job with the pub crawl, excuse me, the pub crawl and the plunge too. Tell a little bit about what's going on. We have a couple of thermometers around here and I know you know this young guy right here. If you want to say a few words, we appreciate it. Anybody Everybody knows, Jake. 
Try again. If you don't know Jake by the end of tonight, you will. And Jake's done the plunge for us, member of Troop 89, the annual Special Olympics for how many years? Um, uh, I've done, I've been in the plunge for like um, four years. Okay. Well, for four years he's going out with us, and this year will be five. What Jake doesn't know is usually we choose the Holy Plunge King based on who raises the most amount of money, but this year we decided to go by a new criteria. This year we thought that if you were the world champion, you also deserve to be the Holy yeah. Plunge King. Looking out over the crowd, I see a lot of people who've done the plunge before. Uh, you all know what it goes for Special Olympics and for other programs and the schools that, that benefit from that. Last two years we've won over $100,000. I think that speaks very well for the community. And I hope everybody comes out to see the King go in this year. Woo! Sean, that plunge is going to be when? March 2nd? March 2nd. Rocky Gap. Yeah. What time? Registration is at 10 and then the plunge at 1. Registered 10, plunge at 1. Has anybody in here plunged before? I never. Ah, you brave souls. Never you never plunge. But do you go watch? It's even fun to go watch. You just watch. Okay, Are you going to plunge? Okay. All right. We got some plungers here, so I'm that's great. Do it this year. I don't uh, make okay, well, that's great. Well, we have some wonderful events in this town and so forth. And, and uh, I'm going to turn the microphone over a minute to Pam and Jake and let them piggyback here. Do you want to say a few words or you just want to stay in the back? Come up here, Pam, and just say hello real quick. I just want you, this is the lady who welcomes so many people to Cumberland and her hospitality at the Bruce House. Pam Reynolds, give her a wonderful round of applause. Pam, any, any words to the people of Cumberland, uh, your feelings now? Oh, all I can say is thank you. You know, this has been such a wonderful, welcoming community for us. And um, we, I absolutely love it here, and Jake has thrived here. And, uh, you know, I this isn't about me tonight, so I'm not going to keep talking. I am totally happy to be in Jake's shadow today. <laughs> so, thank you all for coming and for supporting Jake and for supporting Special Olympics. It, you know, really means a lot to us. Thank you, everyone. Yay. He's a skier and a man of few words, but that's he, got, he takes time to ski. Jake, we're going to start a new tradition here, and we don't present keys to the city very often. And we have a big key to the city, but we're going to do another tradition. You get to keep this key until somebody else comes along that we think gets a key to the city, and then you'll come down and present them to them as well. Would you please? All right. What do you think? Jay, key to the city of Cumberland. There you go, buddy. Raise that up in the air so people can... So don't we, have, don't we have an absolutely wonderful person to hold the key to the city? So... Pam, you and Jake have done the key to our hearts, and uh, let's do it. As Jake goes off the stage with the key to city, maybe he'll walk down and say, oh, let's get a little Jake, 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 Okay, and you want to walk through this? Well, this is wonderful, and this is wonderful, and get a chance to say hello to Jake and all the wonderful folks who deal with the Special Olympics and make it happen. Uh, you guys for coming. Downtown is still the heart and soul of the community, and you evidence that tonight by being here. So it's absolutely wonderful, and I have to get you to look at this picture, please. You know, we have a lot of artists and talent in this community, from graphic design. You know Mr. Dave Romero. Mr. Dave Romero took this wonderful picture. Give a hand to Dave right here. And you know, when I think of spirit, I saw Meg walk up here with the balloons and the Maryland flags. Once again, two folks who moved here who captured our hearts too as well. So enjoy the banner. We're going to give this to Jake later on. We're going to leave it up here through the Hooli and the Hooli Plunge. But then we're going to give this to Jake with banner. Jake, I hope you have room on your wall to hang.